Okay, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Finished this car about a year and a half ago. This is a project that I work on for about four, four and a half years. Uh, I started out with a uh, the shell of a 1968 Dodge Charger, and uh, I got a donor car, which was a 2006 Dodge Charger SRT8, a four-door car. It was uh, a totaled. So I cut the body off of it and uh, had a good drivetrain and so forth and so on. Some front end damage to the suspension, but easily repaired. And uh, I fit the 68 body, which was nothing special. It had been sitting in, in a field since 1976. It had been gutted. It was just a shell, an old 383 car. And I did some sheet metal modifications in order to turn it into a 1969 a Dodge Daytona. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around here and then um, show you some of the things that I did. All right, the first thing that uh, I'd like to show you is the nose is a little bit different. Although I started out with a fiberglass nose, the Daytona nose that I got from a guy who had bought it and decided not to do his project, I changed it over, did some modifications so that it looks more like the Superbird in that it has the grill underneath and the Fury, uh, the, the Plymouth Fury. Uh, signal lights under here. Also have the Dodge Charger, the 06 running lights built into this uh, front air dam that uh, I made out of some scrap uh, uh, carbon fiber material that I got at work. And these are actually the side uh, blinkers, side marker lights from the uh, 2006 Dodge Charger that I worked into the spoiler under here so everything works pretty good. Uh, this is a uh, 120 inch wheelbase car and normally the Dodge Charger the 68, 69, 70 is a 117 inch wheelbase car I did all of my modifications from th this area right here there's an extra three inches of material in here and I also radius the wheel opening in order to accommodate the larger tires and I put a little flare on that reminiscent of some of the Dodge Daytonas that uh, ran the NASCAR circuit back in the day when these cars were first introduced. I also put another NASCAR Q in here, which is these sides that come down and they used to flare them out for the larger tires on, on the race cars. I got rid of the traditional um, Dodge Charger gas cap because I like the smoother look of this, plus I was able to use the door from the 06 and modify it a little bit and create this area here which hides the uh, the gas cap gives it a little bit more smooth transition just in front of the wing um, the back glass is actually a Chevy Vega glass this is mostly what is done when people build clones of Daytona's they use this Chevy uh, Vega uh, glass and also a lot of times they use the entire roof hatch and modify it I had to just use the Wind to bed and the glass itself, and then did the sheet metal work back here. Shortened the deck lid for the Daytona uh, look. The wing I also got from the fella I bought the nose from. It had been sitting outside for about five years, and it was fiberglass. It was pretty sagged, so I cut it here and saved the uprights. And across the top here, I made my own section, which is made out of steel, just like you would make an aircraft wing with a bunch of ribs and then the skin wrapped over it and then as you can see here it looks like a carbon fiber pattern which is just an overlay it's just a wrap originally I was going to do a uh, carbon fiber wing but unfortunately it was an expense that uh, was beyond my means as far as the molds making molds and everything else so I put the little SRT8 badging on here to reflect the engine and powertrain you can see this is the modifications I made to the rear um, I moved the, um, I put these backup lights up into the tail pan, these rectangular ones. The charger normally has round ones here. And I moved my tailpipes up into the rear uh, roll pan. I also did a lot of work to sh get the bumper shaved and bring it in close to the body on each side and uh, get it to fit a little bit better to the contours. So that was a little bit of work. And also there's no showing bumper bolts and so forth. That's all been concealed in the back side of the, of the bumper. Can't see it here, but 
I put some LED lights in here for the side markers at night. This glows red in this seam right here. One of the things a lot of people online have given me grief for these large tires and wheels. I happen to like the large tires and wheels myself, but you're kind of stuck with it because the SRT8 has these large Brembo brakes and a 20 inch wheel is all that'll fit over at least the front calipers. The rear calipers you can get smaller wheels for, but that would really god to have large fronts and small rear tires. This is um, a situation also where the new cars all have their hubs more towards the outside of the car, so it's very difficult to get a deep dish wheel because the hub wants to be way out in front here. As older cars had the hubs further back, you could dish the wheels to get a wider wheel and tire setup. I tried to trick it a little bit by getting these wheels that have this aspect here and that cuts back and gives you at least a little bit of the illusion that you've got some uh, dishing there. But again, it's uh, something you're kind of tied to if you decide to do this kind of a platform. I blacked out all of the trim work. I flushed up the, um, the windshield as much as I could so that it installs more or less without the rubber jam that most of the Chrysler products did then. There's a lot of customization in here because the AC vents and so forth on the newer car are way up here because the windshield, of course, on the newer car and somewhere in here. I had to modify the 1970 hood and I gave it this little sweep in the back here. The, the hood on the charger usually stops about here, but I gave it this little sweep here. And this kind of looks like the 71 models, which is a feature that I thought that they needed where they had the windshield wipers down in a well here and so forth and so on. These are modified um, Dodge Charger 06 uh, mirrors. I took them, they normally mount to the side of the window and I created some mounts and so forth and worked them into the door. I also used the door handles off the 06 uh, so that I could tie in all the electronics and so forth that automatically lock the doors and so forth when you try to start the car so this um these uh are handmade these scoops that um actually were used as ex exhausters for air for downforce on the race cars and they put them on the street cars and um so uh, i basically shaped some sheet metal and made these up over here there was a lot of work with the wipers also making the mechanism so that it would go around some of the steering wheel supports and so forth and shortening the arms and so that it would have the proper sweep across this upright windshield and repositioning the mechanism in such a way that that would also work but um, the side glass is interesting because it was one of the features I really wanted to put into this car I get rid of the the vent glass and I was fortunate enough to stumble over a guy who was getting rid of his a few extra pieces that he had made for the Fast and Furious cars and Fast and Furious 7 Dom's Chargers. He had some more side glass left over from the movie cars. He built about 10 movie cars with uh, no uh, side vents in them. The glass is very heavy though, unfortunately. It's laminated glass and uh, I broke one of the first pieces and had to have another piece made up. A very expensive deal, but tempered glass would have been ridiculously expensive about five thousand dollars for two pieces of glass that was beyond my my uh, logic and uh, so the only bugaboo I have about this is that I wish I could have well I do have uh, char challenger excuse me new ta challenger window regulators in here because they're suited for frameless glass I could have uh, used the electronics the smart window electronics where when you lift the handle the window pump bumps down a little bit and then I could have put a more positive seal around the glass as it is this is very much like the older cars where it just uh, seals against uh, the rubber um, which a little bit of wind noise if you're used to newer cars uh, you know the wind noise uh, probably be a little bit of an annoyance on the highway but it's not too 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 horrible but um, as you can see on the inside here the in the entire interior is the SRT8, with the exception of the customized door panels that I had to make to fit the 68 Dodge Charger uh, doors on the inside here. So I used the components from the 06, 
I like the speaker covers and the door handle to operate the latch. And then I had to make most of this out of sheet metal and then cover it. And uh, that was a challenge, but I had to do that for there. And also, yeah, it's kind of hard to see inside the back uh, where, where there would be doors, obviously. I had to make those covers and armrests. And also, I had to custom make this uh, headliner and made that out of sheet metal. I split it in two because it was a little difficult to uh, put a one-piece headliner in here. So I put a small overhead console in, which carries the uh, where you put your glasses and your map lights and so forth are up in there. Um, I maintained everything else between the, these frame rails, this rocker out here from here on out is 1968. From here on in is, is 06. These are power seats and moving pedals and all the jazz and so forth. I did not put the satellite navigation system back together because I didn't want to put that antenna through the roof. So I, mean, I thought that would make the profile of the car look a little bit funny. But I do have the third headlight, or excuse me, headlight, uh, taillight in the back, uh, in the rear window. And you can't see it here, but it's up top over here. And uh, hopefully it'll keep somebody from running into the back of me there. But um, that's what that all looks like. Now, uh, let me just get over here. And um, I'm going to set this up a minute so I can go over and open the hood. We'll look under the hood for a minute. As you can see, it's a 6.1 liter Hemi, and uh, nothing in this engine bay moved um, because I wanted to make sure all the custom uh, fit body panels had enough clearance to miss the manifold and so forth. So all of this is pretty much stock, and it's funny because I recently had brought the car to the dealership because I had a check engine light I was trying to track down, which turned out to be the catalytic converter. and. Um, uh, I was able to just plug it in and uh, get all the information at the dealership I needed because it's a 2006 so all of that jazz works and um, so that's the uh, the guts as you can see over here this is where the old windshield bed ended it's well well back or excuse me well ahead of where this windshield bed is now so a lot of modification in that area anyway that's that. I can fire it up for you. Now let me just get over here. sound too bad now um, the newer cars definitely have a different sound than the uh, the older hot rods but uh, that's about it um, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around thank you